for businesses, the defeat of the HST is bringing mixed reviews. Some small businesses are delighted to see the tax gone, while business leaders say the demise of the HST will only hurt the economy and cost the provincial government up to $3 billion. As soon as he heard the news, Terry Vasiliadis started wiping the HST off his menus. I, I can't keep the grin off my face. I mean, this, this was something that I've been waiting for for a very long time. I've been struggling for the past year just to, just to get by, and some months I wasn't sure I was going to be able to pay my bills. I'm lucky to still be here today. This was Vasiliadis last year, four months after the HST was implemented. Losing up to $15,000 in sales each month, he feared he would have to close his doors. Now, after more than a year of charging customers an extra 7% tax, the owner of Eugene's Greek restaurant says the HST was the most catastrophic thing he's faced in 32 years in the industry. I lost 50% of my personal income, a third of my uh, sales every month. Uh, the savings weren't there that they promised us. The chain was forced to lay off 13 employees and one of its restaurants recently closed, largely, Vasiliadis says, due to the HST. The bracket that comes here. Off the top, we'll go At Fort down Street down Cycle, the loss cycle. of the HST is both good and bad. The return of the provincial sales tax will bring back the PST exemption on bikes for customers, but store owners will go back to collecting only a 5% tax rebate when doing renovations, like the up to $100,000 of work needed here. Under the new rules, the HST, we would be able to claim back all 12% of it. So that would be a benefit for companies that are expanding, buying new equipment. So. That's the flip side of this. I don't think it's very good for the economy to implement a tax system and then repeal it and go back to another one. We're going to see a $3 billion cost to the provincial government. We're going to see that hit home in Victoria. For realtors, the taxes defeat means clients will no longer have to pay HST on their fees and on new construction like condos, but the savings won't be immediate. The biggest thing that the real estate industry might be faced with in the next little bit here is the uncertainty of what's going to happen in the next 18 months. You know, here we are um, just sort of getting into the groove of get it, uh, with the way things have been done uh, with HST, uh, and now uh, there's, there's that uncertainty. Back at Eugene's, Vasiliadis knows the HST won't disappear overnight, but he feels the few hundred bucks it'll cost him to go back to the 5% GST is worth it. How does that make you feel? Very good. I can't wait for it to happen. <laughs> Now, once the results came out, our cameras hit the streets to try and get reactions from people all over the island. Here's what people were saying after hearing the news of the voting results. I'm not happy. Um, I think it's going to cost more than it's worth to put everything back. And it's going to cost biz businesses more. It, yeah, no, I'm not very happy. I'm a little surprised, actually. Uh, most of the people I talked to said that they were in favor of it. I don't have a strong opinion one way or the other. Personally, I voted to keep it, but I can see arguments for both sides. Well, it's one less thing we have to worry about. I'm sure it'll probably be replaced with something else in a matter of time, but it's good for now.